Hi, I'm Mark Brown, a Senior Partner Solution Architect with AWS, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about Maximo Application Suite from IBM, but on single node OpenShift, which is a slightly different way than the normal production environment, which looks a lot like this. This is the default production Maximo 8 deployment. As you can see, it's on three availability zones on AWS, lots of high availability, lots of ability to spread the workload across several different worker nodes in an environment. But this is a large, heavyweight production environment for a large business or an enterprise. You might want something smaller for a smaller business, or maybe for a, a demo or a proof of concept. Well, thanks to IBM, we also have a way of deploying Maximo 8 on single node OpenShift, which is a way of deploying OpenShift from Red Hat on one single worker node, as, you, as you'll notice in this diagram, which will not only be running OpenShift, but also be running uh, a uh, small or medium-sized Maximo deployment on top of it. IBM has produced a, uh, an officially supported container, a Docker container that you can run on your own machine in your workplace or in a Bastion node that you can put in the, uh, the public or the private subnet. This container contains all the tools, scriptings, uh, environment. All you'd have to do is supply it things like your AWS keys, and it uses command line to deploy this entire environment, including all the networking, um, all the gateways and load balancing that you need, uh, the node itself, the storage, and then inside that node, it'll deploy single node OpenShift according to Red Hat's uh, officially approved procedures. And then you supply the second command, and it'll deploy Maximo Manage. In that environment, run it, set it up. You have a Maximo console uh, clear and waiting for you. Why would you do this, this small environment? Well, there are a number of use cases I'd like to talk through here. First one is, this is for small, Maximo, manage only, maybe manage in health, 70, 80 concurrent users maximum. You're going to use it maybe for upgrading a small Maximo EAM customer to Maximo 8. You might also want to use it for things where you have a satellite or disconnected deployments, things like uh, um, uh, offshore oil rigs where you've got things, or maybe you've got something isolated on a ship somewhere, or possibly you have a, uh, a remote uh, deployment of your infrastructure on a country where there is limited internet. So you run small, independent Maximo deployments here. They can communicate and sync back to your home main uh, Maximo deployment based on connectivity times or on a regular schedule. Also, this is really good for demos and PC environments. I mean, what do you think about being able to just deploy a container, deploy this infrastructure? You can do this in four hours, maybe less. Show off how to migrate. Show off how your business works with your customer's business, if you're a partner of IBM, partner of AWS. Also, in that container, our scripts to tear this all down and delete it when you're done with it. So it's perfect for demo and PC environments if that's what you'd like to do. If you'd like to know more information about this smaller, containerized, Red Hat, IBM, Maximo, and Single Node OpenShift environment, uh, here are two links. One to the Red Hat open overview on Single Node OpenShift, what it is, what it isn't, how to deploy it. Also, IBM's instructions and how to on how to do this very same thing, including getting to the container, how to use it, how to deploy, how to uh, dismantle after you're done. I'm Mark Brown, AWS and IBM. We thank you for your time.